This is the one thing I love about red lipstick. The teeth look amazing. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Fal coming with you with another look. <laughs> in this video i basically covered some of the lessons i've learned in my 20s um just to celebrate my 27th birthday so i really hope you guys enjoyed this i struggled a bit with the hair but girl it's okay we did it together so i know for sure this is gonna be a long one so grab your glass honey grab your beverage and let's enjoy don't forget to like comment and subscribe okay share this video with your mom your sister your friends girl don't forget to share okay so i really hope you enjoyed this video and i'll definitely see you in the next slide right let's jump straight into it i was celebrating my birthday a day ago sorry i'm just gonna quickly put on my wig i turned 27 so i decided to do a video where i just discussed the things i've learned so far in my 20s in a video and we're just gonna get beat in the process and just slay the face slay the wig you know the vibes already so that's what we doing today babies i wanted you guys to see everything today i'm going to show you how i do a messy um curls bob kind of situation and things like that so i'm going to go in with my revlon flex gel in the stronghold one right so um, i do want to get got to be i just i just want to see if i really want to like commit to this life you know, i am still using the gel um this one and it works just as good and the price is cute so uh i'm staying here honeys if you guys haven't watched my other chat to get ready with me i did communicate that like starting a youtube channel is very interesting especially when it comes to lighting and wanting a like beautiful space and beautiful you know um background and everything like obviously i want it to look good quality you know that's just my brand i love making things that i would watch things that i would be proud of and i am a hard critic i am a very hard critic and consumer of content so i i have been struggling with everything because i was just like it just doesn't look good but today honey so I'm just quickly just letting it dry and um, making sure that the gel is evenly spread. I even go as far as going into my hair because y'all know I got patchy alopecia. So I just usually cut my hair. <laughs> okay. So we're going to ignore the fact that today the haircut is not there. Yeah. Let's just quickly get into it. Things I've learned in my 20s so far. Obviously, I'm not done in my 20s, but honey child. I know about y'all, but it's been the ghetto. <laughs> it's been the absolute ratata ta. Like in your, in your teenagers, you feel like, oh, i have everything planned and figured out i'm gonna do amazing i'm gonna slay this life thing by so and so year i will have had a what what a what what we all have those kind of dreams i know i'm not the only one when i was a teenager i wanted to be a social worker and then after that um i changed and wanted to be a psychologist and then grade 11 grade 12 that's when i realized my genuine um interest for food um biology specifically but doing um genetic engineering um in one lesson and that's when i genuinely fell in love with the whole nutrition industry you know production industry that kind of thing but in my in my in my in my perspective um i thought that i'll be done with my degree by 23 have a job maybe i'll be married 
married you know you know start a family in the late 20s you know <laughs> you know the vibes already <laughs> but my 20s have taught me that there is no blueprint to this life thing like we all have our crosses to bear i would say that because child oh child it's been the actual ghetto like there is no blueprint guys to this thing like oh so many ups and downs so much mugowo okay so much mugowo and one thing that i genuinely learned in my 20s is finding your genuine interests in life early on in your life your life i could say that because um i know for a fact that i feel like if i figured out sooner what i actually like i think you know things would have turned out a bit better but hey you know like things happen for a reason i genuinely believe that like certain things are meant to happen regardless you know so finding a genuine finding my genuine interest and finding genuinely what i liked is something i only discovered at like 23 like shoo child that's light okay okay personal opinion for me for my life in terms of what i wanted baby i was supposed to have figured it out <laughs> i was supposed to have you know chopped the chankura and sectioned it you know i just wanted to be raw and bear with you guys with everything and just be honest you know because i think that's the best brand and that's my brand like if you if you know me from instagram that's my brand okay you will see everything okay if i don't show you something it's because i deem it personal but i am not in the business of exuding something i'm not it's just too exhausting you know so another thing i've learned is that it's okay like it's it's okay it's it's okay to not be okay because the biggest problem with me is that i'm a perfectionist and i want to always be i always want to look um good i always want i don't want to be a a point of worry for people i like being a helper i like being the the one that's good i don't like being the one that is not good and and <laughs> um goa guys means you are not good like it means that you are goishing honey like you need some help and my biggest issue is admitting that i need help like i don't like it i like i'd rather just figure it out like <laughs> i'd rather struggle until i get it right like i remember even from oh sorry um this is my natural hold hairspray from revlon flex got my toothbrush this is what i use for my baby hairs i took a new one because you need the bristles to be strong you need them to be hard and strong so an old toothbrush won't do what a new toothbrush can do so i specifically use this one for my baby hairs so anyways i was saying that my biggest issue is that i don't like i don't like being wrong and i don't like how asking for help you know i i'm a i'm a perfect patty you know like i love i love being the center of attention i will admit that and i absolutely love being a a, a grade a a student so one of the first things that affected me mentally when i was um in in varsity this is the revlon flex natural hold mousse awesome so one of the first things that affected me when i was in 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 vids is the fact that i just did not do well academically so i was like what the f is this like i am the girl that i think i am like i've always been top 10 student not even top 10 top three baby even number one like if i wasn't number one there'd be a problem okay my mom would hear about it my friends would hear about it i am that girl so your 20s realize girl you're not even number two <laughs> I 
was a perfect patty and the 20s real i make you realize that you're not perfect and now you have to learn the biggest lesson that will be the best thing that will ever happen to you and it is to forgive yourself it's okay <laughs> you're not okay it's okay okay it's okay to not be okay most important part of that is knowing that you what you're not okay so this girl here guys i will tell you this now i don't like not being okay i don't like it i don't like being a point of concern like, don't like that it's not my brand girl um the 20s will teach you that sometimes you need to admit and ask for help you know you don't know something you need to ask for help you need to research and you need to find out what you need to find out and hiding behind a perfect image when there could be somebody who could help you is not gonna help you girl like it's not gonna help you <laughs> let me show you guys what i'm doing i'm trying to soup this So I had to learn to admit that, you know, I need to learn a few things. If I see somebody doing well at something, um, I, I, I like just like look into it. Like, what are you doing different? You know, um, also another cute fact about me is that I don't like to be wrong. Don't like it. Don't like it. I don't like it. It's the ghetto. So... <laughs> speaking my truth y'all i had to learn to teach myself to admit when i'm wrong and to be able to accept criticism from folk when they're speaking from a good place obviously don't come at me shady because people don't want to admit that now nah, but they don't know how to speak to people you know you can't come and tell me something yeah bo, and then be rude about it and think oh, thank you for your advice there's a there's a constructive way to communicate something there's always a, a more constructive way to communicate criticism like you're doing it on purpose when you're being in like you're being mean you know it's like this thing um this notion that a person is not mean they just honest no you could have been considerate in the way you spoke you decided to whatever you say it's a decision it's a decision so don't come at me sideways and then say no um you're just being sensitive ah. you know it's like these people yes i said these people say hurry you know like when a person gains weight yeah hey we are born in Ghana, and you're like oh you've gained so much weight who asked you asked you guys like one thing i have learned that is so so key is mind your own damn business mind it actually that's not a new lesson okay Th that is not a new lesson it's been a long-standing lesson in this economy to mind your own business because you don't know who you're speaking to and to what you are speaking into you know i could have serious body dysmorphia and i could be having the worst day when it comes to my my image of myself and here you are uh and here you are and you speaking hurry wow you're so fat and have you seen your body you need to go to the gym and things like that like you know like why aren't you asking hey how are you you know how are you doing mentally you know why are you asking why why don't you just ask a person how are they and if they share the information they share they share it you know who how do you know guys what you wins and like who are you affecting with your words like shoo and another thing i've learned when we're on that topic something i also had to teach myself out of is my personal issues i must never deflect them on anyone else because i don't know 
how am I affecting them and their personal images of themselves, you know? I'm just basically re-curling the front bit. Like, the back bit is good enough for me. So, basically what I do is that I twist it like that and then I curl away from the face. I saw this on Facebook. I mean, on YouTube now. Right here on this uh, platform. I love this platform to learn. But anyways, I was saying, Huri, this thing of, like, for example, I will tell you something I used to personally do that I taught myself out of, and I'm really apologizing to whoever I affected by it. I was having personal issues. Um, basically, when you are not okay, you look for, you look for issues, you look for problems in other people's lives in order to um feel better about whatever's going south in your life i was gaining weight and i had a problem with it sharp if i see somebody like i know from a long time ago and when i see them i'll be like oh say see see song and now okay you know I don't know how that's affecting another person but personally to me that is a deflection and that is a reflection of something i have a problem with i have a problem i had a problem with my weight and in um in essence because of my problem with my weight i was pushing those issues upon somebody else how do i know Wooty homegirl has been trying to gain weight or uh homegirl enjoys her weight gain and here am i now making it seem like there's something wrong with her weight gain like you know do you know little things like that so i feel like it's something we actually really 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 need to stop doing let's stop commenting on um people's weight in general okay let us stop commenting on people's skin conditions it's such a sensitive thing like oh you know like you don't you don't know okay stop giving me recommendations for um for example my alopecia one of the things that you really really used to irritate me is um if i was at the gym i would get comments like oh um this is what you can do um to to you know help your hair grow blah 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 blah, blah. and baby like you telling me about jamaican castor oil babe it's an autoimmune disease okay i cannot control it nothing i can do outside besides food and stress levels can help me and in a corner it can't really help me help me it can just help gangani but it's an autoimmune disease my body is acting against itself so you can't are you tell me a jamaican castle what's jamaican castle gonna do for me okay okay like sheesh guys i've been told to try cow down to put cow down on my head cow down on my head do you know how smelly that thing is just because why didn't you just keep it to yourself if i really wanted information i would have it if do you really think could it, i'd just be walking outside in these streets with hair missing on my head guys you you find me naked you find me in my vulnerable place you clearly can see that if you saw me you've seen me on the floor i'm always wearing a hat i'm always wearing a dirk i'm always wearing something you know and like people used to even do this to me like walking in the mall All right, why don't we move to the next topic? Primer. I use the Pond's Lasting Oil Control Vanishing Cream. Obviously, I've done my full skincare routine. I love this because it mattifies the face and it doesn't break the bank. <laughs> I'm all about things that don't break the bank, honey. I can't talk when I'm doing <laughs> Like, I'm just gonna put it out there, honey. I'm just gonna put it out there. So I'm gonna quickly do my brows and then we'll continue with this lit conversation. You know, with brows, sometimes they sisters, you know. I'm gonna regret what I'm doing, so let me stop. Okay, friends. Um, where were we? Base today we're doing a simple look, um, a classic red lip with the nude lip with the nude lid, eyelid. So I'm gonna just go in with my Allego Pro Concealer and I'm gonna blend that out because I want my lids to look 
absolutely flawless and I'm being careful not to go in my bra my brow while I'm doing this I was talking man about um, you know like how we speak to people how we comment to people and things like that and here's another fun fact be the first person to call yourself out on your bullshit like you know that's the one thing i've learned with my 20s like i need to be responsible enough and honest enough with myself to tell myself fell wrong like wrong you're not speaking guys like you're not speaking properly like this is very disrespectful the way you're speaking to so and so is not the best way to speak to a person like be the first to know guti be the first to kuza yourself man like that is something I have learned to go to like I've even noticed this with myself with the way I speak to my mom like I had to readjust the way I speak to my mom so um I'm speaking of, from a place of living with my mother and I will say this from a personal experience um there's a lot of things that my mom has communicated in a way where I was like low-key offended and it starts a fight and then I speak in a certain manner in order for her to try and understand me and she just shuts down you know and she just shuts down and i've had to learn to take a step back and when i'm communicating when i have an issue with her not to bring it up in the heat of the moment let it go and then go back to her and say you know when you communicated this i didn't see it that way you know and even in the way you communicate things with a parent completely different from how you communicate with the friend with the parents mm, it is not a walk in the park in the past when i've had issues with my mother and the way we communicate i would choose to i know i'm wrong that's why i'm, I'm speaking this because i had to call myself out i choose to speak like in a in like on a higher pitch and try to get the most words out and use fewer words try to calm calm down so if it, you need to not say something in that moment don't say it okay don't say it okay and understand especially if you're still living at home it's not your house <laughs> better abide by the rules you're not paying rent that's about right better abide by the rules <laughs> um my lids are set I set them with translucent powder because I wanted them to be gorgeous. I'm trying to do my eye um, now because I just feel like the rest of the stuff we have to do is so nice and easy. So, okay, look at that. I look at that wing. My words, my words, look at my wing. It's gorgeous, man. perfect i'm gonna take my win and walk out perfect use a small mirror it really helps basically with the lashes what i saw is that you have a better shot at putting your lashes on properly if you hold your mirror higher up and you get your mirror as close as possible to you because let's do face finally this is the willies um foundation it is in the shade Ch chestnut look at what just happened oh my gosh it's in the shade chestnut it is a bit darker for me but um i would rather have a foundation too dark than too light <laughs> also what works for you doesn't work for the next person so you might see somebody struggling with something and think that what you have done is a remedy it is not for certain circumstances you know for example skin i will also share my skincare routine and things like that but take it with a grain of salt take it with the concept that at the end of the day genetically in this family we have amazing skin you know and a skin and genetics is a big ass deal like a big ass deal is a reflection of a lot of things not just the products you use on your face but also the um 
the things you eating your lifestyle your climate all those things like that so um also uh I, something might be working for me because i have a dry skin tone i have you know and then when are you oily you know so i'm just saying this obviously these are things we all know i'm just putting it out there you know for the person that doesn't know and just for the person that would wonder why sometimes i would be wary of for example putting the exact products i use out there because not because of anything other than I don't want somebody to say Ufel uses this and it's working well for her like you know Ganti it's because of genetics you know Ganti it's because of the fact that I eat mostly vegan meals most of the time most of the time most of the foods I eat don't contain milk or eggs there's very very little meat in my diet and dairy products in my diet you know so take that with a grain of salt you know so that's what I'm saying Huri what works so you might not work for the next person you know um i've had to learn this also my solution might not be your solution might be your problem so i had to learn that really. there are certain things that a person would advise for me to do if i ask and stuff like that or if I'm, I'm i'm looking and watching a youtube video and it might not work for me one thing i've learned this is not new if you want something you gotta go get it you know nobody's coming to save you no one's gonna come and make everything shush for you and make everything perfect for you you're gonna have to work hard and you're gonna have to get the things that you want you know like um guys i i don't know take this with a grain of salt but there's no great miracle that's gonna come and then everything is gonna be okay there's always gonna be something that you are not okay with that's just my two cents that's something i just realized like <sighs> there's always going to be something you're not okay with like there's you, you there's always going to be something that you feel like could be better you know so this thing of um this notion that one day i will have it all everything will be perfect <laughs> you see i pressed it too hard jesus it's okay like all the decisions you're making for your life it's okay and if you feel like your decision is unorthodox compared to the norm that is okay just live out your truth man live out your dreams you know like you have no business being anybody but yourself you know and girl boy you know life is too short to be holding back who you are in essence for other people and their opinions like that is not gonna save you that is not gonna make you happy if what makes you happy is is something that is unorthodox it is what it is you know live out your truth and it might be unorthodox now it won't be unorthodox in the near future because like guys look at something as simple as we all know this like this is something as obvious as they come booty you know at in some point in time not having a booty was a thing you know like i'm a low waist um jeans with a flat flat stomach was a thing you know like that was what was hard and that was what was working for the peoples now baby people are buying these booties okay people are buying these boobies you know what i mean now people are actually seeking out these double t's honey so here you are holding back for example i'm gonna use myself as an example uh here you are holding back and not going for uh, your dream which is nutrition because you're in an area where you have not seen a nutritionist or anybody actively saying they pursue nutrition and here you are holding back now on account of that and then mokel then you lose your dream then you lose being a visionary then you lose yourself and then you lose your path living your truth ain't easy okay don't get me wrong i'm not saying this shit is easy I know this shit is hard okay like I know okay but it's not worth it sacrificing your dreams sacrificing your genuine desires for 
for image or for the for fear of what people would think will steal away from your dreams it will steal away from your happiness it will even i will even go as far as saying it will steal away from your peace you know like I'm gonna quickly set my face immediately I'm taking the uh, banana deep powder from makeup revolution and I'm going to dab that on my wrist so that it's even I don't want too much product on here And don't be afraid to communicate what you want to your people okay so um, like it might be unorthodox you know at home they might be expecting you to become the next doctor of the family <laughs> but you don't want to be a doctor <laughs> you know you want to start a video game company okay like try and work around it you know maybe you can um work at a video game shop while you're studying or something you know try and, and go for your dreams you know like try your best to go for your dreams you know don't hold back on anyone's account babe babe listen here okay we are not the ones that are with you at night when you are going through for back and forth so that you have with yourself and questioning your life and questioning everything you stand for we aren't there honey we are not there you know so do not hold back on our accounts because we are not there nobody i'm gonna take that remaining powder in the sponge and on my wrist and try and cut that bronzer situation I'm gonna go in again though with the contour palette from Scarlet Hill and I'm, this is in the deep one this shade I think was called Washa right. so yeah actually this makes it pay sense because Ulungi Letabete you know helped make this product and Ulungi Letabete is Zulu now this makes it because I was like what jacket this like uh, I know obviously there's black people who work there. I'm gonna put some on oh my chin and things like that. So live out your truth. I'm just gonna quickly uh, contour the nose because I love my nose snatched. And I'm gonna drag it into the brow like that. I even go in here at the bottom like that and I just just reinforce that lift I absolutely love it look at that chiseled face yes <laughs> sorry if I'm making noise now <laughs> I get excited <laughs> I'm sorry to my earphone users <laughs> dreams cost time dreams cost sacrifice dreams cost sacrifice you know um somebody actually said this sorry this is the revlon uh, uh, blush in sunkissed rose um i i remember i don't i was i was listening to a podcast by sarah jakes roberts yes i got it right today and she was talking to this lady and um one of her friends they had a like one of those joint podcasts and, and the first thing um the sarah jakes robert's sister said was what are you willing to sacrifice in order to meet your goals you know because it's gonna cost you some form of sacrifice if you get what i mean i'm gonna take a fluffy brush and i'm gonna highlight um if y'all don't know now you know your girl is currently not highlighting her cheeks i'm just not into it right now i feel like it creates texture so i'm just taking the pink shade in my nudes palette from oh this is like a light it's like a like an a champagne gold right and i'm always gonna put that here and here right and i'm gonna take some of it and put it in my inner tear duct 
I love to blow it out here. I don't like it to be sitting in one spot. I just like to go in a bit like, like that. See? Beautiful! I'm gonna set the face with my setting spray from MRP. And then we're gonna do lips. something i'm thinking about while we're doing this that is so important invest in your mental health this is actually the most important thing ever invest in terms of time money everything all your energy your mental health is the key to it all because your mental health means you are clearer your brain is free to think to breathe to produce the best version of yourself the stronger and better mentally you are the better everything comes out for you honey the better everything so invest time take time if you need to journal journal if you need to pray pray if you need to work out whatever it is different people need different things for their mental health i need to work out i need to be eating healthy because it just works amazing for me i need to be sleeping properly and i need to be doing my devotionals and my prayers and checking on myself regularly and fixing things and removing things that trigger me this is the Scarlet Hill Red Lipstick. Red Liquid Lipstick. Uh, she red red, guys. Also, invest in your skincare, okay? It will pay off this is also for boys guys like I've been wanting to do a red lip for a long time. I don't usually do a red lip anymore. I always do um, nude. But I wanted to do this because it's going to match my outfit. Let me get dressed and we wrap up course. Don't forget to love yourself and be good to yourself. That's one of the most important things, darling. I've learned to be good to myself, to love myself, and to be genuinely into myself. <laughs> so i really hope you guys enjoyed me and this look. Um, this is the outfit. I got these pants from mrp um in the oak ridge section and this shirt from cotton on unfortunately this was from the sales section so i don't know if you be able, you're gonna be able to get a honey okay um try to check on the website because i took the last one in Sekunda. <laughs> so yeah and i just put on some cute little bracelets and some earrings and some perfume i'm just so grateful thank you so much um i really hope that you guys got what i was saying and that you know you you learned something from this video be it the makeup be what i said i really hope you learned something <laughs> so i'll definitely see you on the next one don't forget to like comment and subscribe and be patient with me um lighting is still gonna be uh, mm, 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 uh, you know but i'm working on it guys and i really hope today that i really hope that you saw the improvement from today and i can't wait to connect to create more videos for you guys because i'm generally enjoying this so yeah 
love you guys so much. Mwah!